Ah, look at that. We are back. Okay, camera, what are you doing? I'm trying to... I was trying to show the world and then... Okay, listen. Welcome back to The Survivalist. Happy day, friends. Hope you're doing well. It's been a minute. It's been it's been a bit, I feel, since, since we've been here. But welcome back to The Survivalist. I am so, so happy and excited to be back. Oh, the lads! Oh, I love them. Let's go see what Terry's doing because last I checked, Terry was... You'll see, I think. Yep. Yep, Terry's... Okay, well... Today's agenda is already planned out, like, full list and everything. Farmer slash landscaper janks here on duty. Ooh, that's a creeper. I'm I'm gonna go take care of this really quick. Oh, yeah! Cool. I love gunpowder. Ow. Anyway, as, as I was saying, Landscaper Jinx is making a return because today's list, kind of just the main bullet points, moving all these farms and redoing these paths, building a sugarcane auto farm over by the bamboo auto farm, and then we're going to build a bee farm. I don't remember the exact reason I wanted honey, but I want to build a bee farm anyways because they're really cute and I love them. So at some point, we're going to go find a flower forest and then get that all set up. Those are kind of the main bullet points for today. So again... Without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. I still can't believe all my cows died. I wonder I wonder what happened. So, I'm thinking... Do I just, like, literally build this exact same thing over on this wall? I think that would look nice. So I'm gonna... You know, I should really probably just stop wasting fireworks like that. I need... A bit of glass... I'm gonna grab three stacks. I actually just remembered. I'm gonna end up needing signs. We'll see why in a minute. Okay, let's go get this shit built. For now, I'm gonna have it just like the bamboo farm, just funneling into a chest. But eventually, I wanna set it up so the bamboo farm and the sugarcane farm feed into the same like funnel type system and it all just gets pumped into the house. Um, <laughs> that's hot. Uh, I just think that'll be easier. I forgot the stone brick. All right, I'm literally just gonna build the same exact thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 wide. If I start it like right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Damn, it's not gonna look as nice as I thought it was gonna. Just because there's like way less mountain on this side. Hmm. I guess the bamboo farm is overkill. And I, like, I don't really need sugarcane like that. Oh, wait. This is also going to go off way more because sugarcane's way shorter. I don't know why. Okay, actually, if anybody can help me with this. I don't know why, but every time I interact with the world, it's kind of when only when I'm over here, I, I've noticed recently. But when I interact with the world, my shit lags. Like, look. Like, why is it lagging? Like stutters, even breaking this stuff. It's weird, right? I don't know. I thought it was kind of strange. That should be plenty wide, I think. Alright, let's do that. Do that. I'm gonna replace this with regular dirt so I can get grass under it. I can't even carry regular dirt. Imagine me having as many shulker boxes as I have and then never using them. That couldn't be more on brand for me, honestly. All right, sand. <laughs> I don't have placed any of the sand yet. <laughs> so this one has to be a bit different than the bamboo farm. I'll be honest, I'm actually just making this up as I go. But I think, because the sand will fall, but we need to have nothing under the sand so the minecart can collect the stuff. So, that's what the signs are for. And then I'm going to have water here because you need water for the sugarcane to grow. Alright, so if we do this, um, get me out of the water. <clears throat> Should be able to plant sugarcane on all this with no issue. Yeah. Now we're gonna break all this. 
so I have four observers. So one, two. How do I? <laughs> They're not gonna be perfect, but I don't care enough. No, don't face up, you shitter. Actually, that's okay, because I'm going to have to get behind this wall to do stuff. And I'll be covering it up with cobblestone anyway, so. There we go. And then once the sugar cane hits three, it'll send those boys off. Next, we want pistons like this. And then I want glowstone there and there. I don't know why, but I like the look of it, like, kind of alternating like that. Oh, I threw that together really fast. I thought that was going to take so much longer. I also way over-prepared with glass because I was thinking I was just going to literally duplicate the bamboo one, but sugarcane doesn't grow that tall. All right. This part's all set, so I can box out all in. Oh, it's so cute and compact. I actually really like that. That's really cute. Let's see if this works the way I want it to. That's how that works. I'm really impressed with myself and how fast I just got that up. Man, that was... That was so easy. I feel like the other one took so much longer. Now we can go ahead and get under everything. Right, the, the poison, the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. How do I fix this? Like this. The fuck out of my inventory. Um, you and you. You and you. Can, can I swim, game? Oh, that's why I can't swim, dude. I'm fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. Christ. You know what? Just for continuity, I'm just going to turn all these into cobble. For my own sanity. Alright, there we go. So now... Oh, shit. This isn't going to work. Oh, wait, no, it will work because rails will hold up the sugar cane. Okay. thought about that beforehand so if the sand goes there i need them i need to go look at the other farm because now i'm confusing myself <laughs> okay i am overthinking it <laughs> so if the sand goes there my track needs to sit on this cobble put one there one there and then do the little uh like ramp trick you watch this if we do this, okay, yep, that's what I wanted. If we do that and that, and then we can just break that, and then the minecart should just bounce back and forth with uh, no issue. Wow, I had the perfect amount of rails. My inventory being so stresses, or <laughs> my inventory being so stressed, my inventory being so full is stressing me out. So like that, like that, yeah, yeah. I was like, where did my rail go? Alright. Oh, I'm actually going to move this over one because I don't know if the redstone is going to mess up the uh, the hopper at all. Put you there. Now we should be able to put all the sand back? Yeah. So, will the water just sit in this little column now? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's actually huge. Why did the water not go there? Does water not get rid of tracks anymore? Or did I just get really lucky here? I'm gonna chalk it up to I just got really lucky. Why's the water not staying there? There we go. That's so weird. Alright, everything should be smoothed out now. And then the final touch is two things. First, 
I thought I didn't bring the chest. Uh, first, we put the chest there. Because I don't think we're going to need more than that. That Like, that should be more than enough for right now. Oh, I wonder if that's going to have issues. I think the minecart might actually get stuck. Hmm. Only, way, only one way to find out. I gotta go get, um, I gotta go get redstone torches really quick, though. Running around this world looking at all these lanterns, I'm like, I love these. But in the Zamboni virus, if you haven't checked that out, you should check this series out. It's great. There's, like, light switches that turn these on and off, and I really wish that was, like, just a regular thing I could have in Minecraft, because I, I love it so much. It, they're so sick. I don't know why, I just love them. I don't know why I care about doing this. But I think it looks kind of nice. So I'm glad that I'm taking the time to do it. Okay, cool. That's good enough. So a torch here. Torch here. How do, I, how do I get this thing to move? Yeah, it gets stuck on the block. Damn it. The easiest way to fix it. Actually, shit. Now I need more rails. So I guess one sec. Still getting get stuck on the other side, though. Yeah. Fine. So what I got to do then is this. Break. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Hey man, as long as it doesn't get stuck, that's all I actually care about. All right, cool. Um, now we gotta put sugar cane in it. <laughs> Can you bone me of these shits? Oh wait, I don't have to do that. I'll just do this. Okay, that block stopped it. That's good to know. I'm glad that I like actually tested that and didn't just be like, okay, it's good. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. This is really good. I'm glad that I did this. I am going to move you now. That's all I wanted to do for this for now. Like I said, eventually, I'm going to set up both of these farms to funnel into one, like, shoot. And it's all just going to send to my house. But for now, this is good enough. All right. Inventory organization. Next on the agenda is finding a flower forest. So, I'm heading whatever direction this is. <laughs> Because this is kind of like one of the only ways I haven't gone, and I feel like I haven't seen a flower forest yet. So maybe we'll find one in this direction. Because like, yeah, there's plenty of cool flowers I can find, and I could just bone meal the ground a bunch until I get some like certain flowers. But there's some flowers that I think you can only find in the flower forests. Of course, it's raining. Flower forests are not easy to find. Have I seen acacia yet? Because... Here's Acacia. Probably not going to find a flower for us this way. Then. Whoa. That's a big portal. Holy. Maybe I have been here. This actually feels... I almost just fell right into that lava. This feels familiar. I'll be having that. Thank you. I'm going to try to spell something with the loot so I know that I've been here. There we go. There's probably a certain villager you can get, um, like, fancy flowers from, right? Oh, actually, no, the wandering, the wandering trader guy, probably. I hate the rain. <laughs> is that another portal? It is. Like, a big-ass one, I mean. Look at that. Maybe this is why the other one... <gasps> Ooh, Notch Apple. I didn't even see that at first. Sheesh. Oh, okay. I really hate to be doing this in the rain. I guess I just hate to do anything in Minecraft in the rain. Holy shit, there's a village all the way up here? 
Oh, Lee, that's a big hill. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa. God, I love Minecraft. <laughs> this game is so fucking cool. Whoa. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. Where be the flower forests, my dude? Um, excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Well, this was unexpected. Go get some loot, shall we? Is there something in the cat? I can't ever remember. Nothing in the cat. Anything in the chicken? <laughs> Nothing in the chicken. Want to let down? Oh, there is something behind this guy's face, though. Is it the room that's behind his face? Yeah, 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 it's the room itself. I have netherite, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> Oof. That was beautiful. Just a solid diamond block. I don't care how OP I am. Solid blocks of iron, gold, diamond, emerald. They all feel so nice to get. I don't need these. I don't need any of those. Oh, absolute banger from Halsey just came on. Honey by Halsey. I mean, this, the whole album that uh, song's from Bangs, but. Bitch. Oh. You silly little slut there probably just like the floor above or whatever oh that's so pretty oh dude video games are so cool <sighs> i've made a grave grave mistake Wow, that worked out. How did that work out for me? <laughs> that was almost so bad. I don't know. My shulker in there? I'm an idiot. Don't touch me. Keep your fucking dirty mitts off me, pal, huh? Boom, boom. I was just trying to get a cool screenshot of this room. I think you're supposed to start these from the bottom and work your way up. But I always find myself starting at the top and work my way down. That's hot. That's hot. Anyways. Yeah, nice overshot, you fucking bug. Huh? I'm getting rid of you as soon as I can. His new animation scared me. I wish that was, like, just part of the game normally. It'd be really cool. Wait. I'm still getting snapped at, yeah. Still a uh, fucking illusionist, whatever they're called. I gotta kill this guy and then clear inventory really quick because I can't hold any more totems. I fucking hate these things, man. Look at him, look at him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bitch. We got some totems to pick up. I killed three of them, so there should be three totems total. <laughs> he stopped for a second, he's like, ah, now we can be friends, actually. And then changed his mind. He's like, no, we can be friends. Ah, uh, actually, you killed my dad, so you have to die. Is what he was thinking. I want one of these in our house. At some point, I will be building a map room. Ooh. I think I just figured out where I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm not gonna tell you I want it to be surprised, but 
I want this, but I want a real map of the world. I think that would be so sick. That's a lot of gunpowder. That's cool. I'll fuck with that. What is this, a confessional? Get me out of here. Is there anything above the boxing ring? Hmm. More gunpowder? That's so sick. I didn't know these things just gave you gunpowder like that. What the hell? I said I was done with this floor, but I just found so many more things. Okay, now we're done with it. Yeah, we've seen all this. All right, let's head down to the next one. Whoa! Homie was aggroed from around the corner. He said, intruder! Intruder! Homie was full charging me. This is badass, dude. I'm gonna have to build a statue myself. You tell me there's nothing in this guy's head. Oh, I've seen them fight. Actually makes a lot of sense. Cool. Thanks for the block of lapis, dude. I'm livid. I'm being ungrateful, dude. That's that's free lapis. Be more grateful. Oh, a prison. Six, 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 six. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Could you not be? Could you just not? We'll keep removing there, bud. What's up, spider? Nothing, nerd. You should have died so much sooner, Mr. Bitch. Eh. I guess it'd be Mrs. Witch. Ms. Witch? Ms. Bitch. Got him. Got him. Shit on. L. Ratio. L. Hate me. I can hear more mobs, but like... I'm seemingly already done with this floor? Oh wait, no. I think there was another direction ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the front door. How did I miss that earlier? <laughs> Walked right by him. Is there a hole in the floor? Oh, this is the room that I was in. Did I just kill them both with one shot there? Kinda cool. Damn. I did not get what I thought I was gonna get from this place. What's with all this wool? Wait. Why do I want it all? What is this color? Light blue. I actually like it. So what is this then? Cyan. Huh. I don't know why, but these colors just look different than they usually do. Am I going colorblind? <laughs> Is that what's happening? I've never seen a wool room <laughs> in a woodland mansion. I mean, I say that like I've been to a thousand of these. These motherfuckers are so rare. I've been to like... This is probably my 15th at the very most. I don't think I've seen over 10, but I could just be misremembering. Wait, how do I only have 19 cyan wool? But 56 and 46 of the other ones. I don't know. This is cute. I mean, I think they've learned. You know? I'll hit more fire. Your your house is kind of fucked up, guys. Ow. Ow. Wow, this place has gotten really beat up, huh? Okay. Well. My business here is done. God, these places are massive. <laughs> They're so massive. I also don't know where home is. Yeah, so I'm like actually lost. That's okay though. I'm, I'm gonna keep looking for this flower forest. <laughs> Not too sure about the flower forest, man. Is there somewhere else I can get tulips and stuff? 
Oh, wait. No shot. <laughs> wait, no shot. <laughs> no shot. Okay, well, that worked out. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy about that. This is literally exactly what I was looking for. That couldn't have worked out any better. Grab a bunch of these. Also, I saw a beehive. Um, that is part of what we're doing, so I should probably grab that. Look at all these flowers. Hey, Lily of the Valleys. I like these ones. Look at all those sunflowers. Holy moly. I wish sunflowers faced more than just one direction. I hate that they can only face one way. I get it, but I hate it. It's cool that uh, we found exactly what I was looking for. That's dope. Let's uh, find some more tulip colors, though. Are there yellow and orange tulips, or just orange? Kind of cool if there's both. It'd be cool if there was... I, th I think the way they do the flowers and stuff is, like, they try to make it, like, as real as... Or they, like, just base them off real-life flowers, and that's it. But it would be cool if there was um, every single color of the rainbow for tulips. You know, like the Roy G. Biv or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm talking about. Like blue tulips, green tulips. I think that'd be cool. Damn, does the flower forest get cocked by the uh by the swamp though? It sure does, huh? That's a real shame. Such a tiny little patch. Makes me sad. Holy shit, there's just a village right here. That's funny. Villages don't feel as exciting as they used to. Like I'm like, what am I gonna find here that I don't already have? Okay, never mind. All that bread is pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty alright. I'm just kind of killing time till it's nighttime, because I had to look it up before the episode. <laughs> but I found out that the uh, the bees at nighttime and when it's raining go into their hive, and that's how you can get them home. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to be night so we can go grab those lads. This is a really big building. Damn. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these. This building's huge. That's cool as hell. <laughs> Yo, your house, um... Yeah. Is that just two gold blocks? It is. That's kind of cool. I don't really want to take the time to uh, deal with all that lava, though. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll fucking see you when it's nighttime, I guess. Well, what are you waiting for? Something amazing, I guess. That should be good. Just about nighttime, so the lads are gonna start flying back home. Just hang out and see what they do. <laughs> Look at the fucking chicken. The way his head bobs when he runs is funny. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Goofy. Alright, two just went home. Oh, look at him. Oh, he stopped. Alright, three went home. Nighttime. So, I should be able to just silk touch this and uh, walk away with it. I'm going to drop that one flower because... Total B location. Move a bee nest with three bees inside using code. Okay. Let's go home now. I think home is this general direction. So, I'm just... Fingers crossed that I'm right. All right, we're getting close... Well, closer to zero, zero. And I feel like we didn't go super, super far to find where I ended up building. So hopefully finding home from zero, zero isn't impossible. No, so this is actually really cool because I actually don't know where I am. I'm being completely honest, none of this feels familiar, so... Oh, there's home. God, man, I was... I was lost and very, very turned around. I'm so happy to be back. Holy moly. The bee stuff is gonna wait. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the beehive in here so I don't forget about it. Where am I for sure not gonna build paths? Up here. So. This can be just for the cow because he's just one lad. Come here, cutie. Nope. This way, you knucklehead. Come, dude. Nice. 
I hate them. Let's grab all these pigs. I don't really need all of them. I just only need two, but I'll take what I can get. I was going to say, none of you interested in this? This is good enough for me. Sorry, guys. Cool. I will take that. All right, now I'm going to get rid of all this. How much do I care about chickens? Not enough. Let's uh, get rid of all of these paths now. Between episodes, I'm gonna have to do some villager trading to uh, kill these tools because they are not doing too well, huh? I'm gonna go dump all of the random shit that I have. I got a bunch of food I could cook. Recently came into an inheritance of food. Give the boy some chicken. I'm actually not gonna use the oak fences for these new ones, these new farms, but I gotta focus on finishing the paths first. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of shit in here, I forgot. I should keep a totem in here, actually. Oh, what was that? A big ol' yawn. Start by filling all the dirt back in. What the fuck? Boom, 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 boom. That's all the dirt replaced. like how this looked so I did a little more of it as you can see how's that look that actually looks pretty natural um and I really like how that looks I'm just gonna get rid of all of this and fill it in with dirt I like the grass at least right here it's just tying it all together it's funny when I first started this build I was like oh yeah I'm gonna leave all this stone I like it it looks cool I've just slowly gotten rid of more and more of it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Alright, so go ahead and replace this. that actually all right and then connect those I'm just gonna do this because I think this might actually look kind of cool what damn it that was weird Yeah, I like that. And then have it come down here. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have it split there. I didn't mean to do it like that. Oh, yeah. So now we've got a path going this way, we've got a path going over there. 
It looks lovely. Now let's light it up. Okay. Now, two things I want to do here. One, I want to pass going up the hill just right here. All right, I want the bee farm to be up here. When I go to actually build the farm, I'll probably change this up a bit. But for now, for the purposes of just making our paths, this one. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. This hill is actually going to get carved back. I think this is going to look better. And it's also just going to make me happier. Right, I can make three stacks of fences. <laughs> Way more than I could ever need. So I'm going to do this. That should be plenty. Here's one farm and do another right here I don't really care if other stuff wanders in there because I think it's kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> that's not as wide as the other one, and that's going to bother me. I don't know if I really want them touching, though. I feel like that's also going to bother me. It actually doesn't bother me as much as I thought it was gonna. Cool. Okay. Well, the farms are built. <laughs> now let's get the lads in there. Where were the pigs? Oink, oink, you fat bastards. Get over here, cutie. What are you doing? Come on. Grab the sheep now. Come on, guys. Don't, duh, duh, don't play me like a fool. Cool. And now the singular cow. Fucking <laughs> hell. What? <laughs> Come on, you slow poke. Act like you're excited, dog. He's like, I'm not excited to go live on my own. Kidding? Okay. I think the paths are redone to my liking. I feel like I need a light right here, though. Alright. I, uh, I really like this. This looks way better and makes more sense there was a lot of like back and forth and like crisscrossing look just kind of messy this looks way better next up bee farm and also fixing the webcam i don't know why it was so dark it's in the middle of the day speaking of bees where are all my leads oh speaking of bees i didn't know i've never done anything with bees because i always thought like farming them was this kind of like big thing that i was never really gonna be able to like figure out because there's a lot of things in minecraft that i feel are just like if you take the time to learn it it's not that bad but it takes a lot of time to learn it so i just never really messed with bees and then i was like okay you know what i want to do it on the survivalist world fuck it i'll look up a tutorial like a little like how to bee farm and it turns out it's really easy the way you farm them is just by having a nest or a beehive with a campfire under it and a carpet over the campfire. And I know that may not make a whole lot of sense, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. We're gonna do a couple things here. I'm putting all of our flowers in this box because there's just too many. 
I'm also going to change the color of it because it's cuter this way. Where did I get a diamond? Why do I have a block of diamond? Did I make that? Where did that come from? Why do I not remember? Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Oof. Ooh. In making these shears, I actually just remembered. I should probably check the sheep. And see what their shear levels are at. Where am I? Oh, I, I, I love this base. The remodel was like everything that i needed i'm so bro these things are never gonna run out <laughs> jesus christ i could get a bunch of unbreaking three books apply them to a bunch of shears and that would take a lot yes but i i would never have to replace them ever maybe once in like 20 years from now <laughs> so the next thing i'm gonna do i want smoke oh i actually meant to shear that first all right, now that I got most of the leaves down, hopefully the rest will just kind of decay on their own. I'm actually kind of upset that this big tree grew because I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to take the time to get rid of this giant ass tree. It's actually kind of cool. The branch here, branch there, branch there, branch there. Remember y'all, always re-rack your trees, okay? You don't re-rack. You're just kind of shooting yourself in the foot, or whatever the saying is. What? I need to go to bed in real life, man. Jesus. <laughs> Rest in peace, Snoopy. Hey, speaking of. Yo, Terry, you still doing the thing, dog? All right, all right, Terry. I'm gonna start by building a tree, and then I feel like that'll make it easier for me to describe things. I'm gonna get rid of this tree and actually carve this part of the mountain back a little bit. All right, that looks fine. Okay, so I'm gonna build our first tree right here, so. That's probably how tall trees are in Minecraft. What does a Minecraft tree look like, guys? Like this, baby. Oh my god, look at me, I'm building a Minecraft tree. Oh, well, I should I should probably finish the top of the tree. That is so many, uh, <laughs> so many leaves. Okay, so we got this bee nest. It should be full of bees. Actually, wait. I want to put the leaves down first. Did I say leaves? I want to put the flowers down first? I don't even know what I said. I really like the, uh, Lily of the Valley. I think that's what it's called. Oh, we only got one Allium. Oh, wait, I can't put it right there. I'm going to put it right there. I don't know why I'm not just placing all of the flowers I have. I'm getting, like, motion sickness or something, and I think it's the shaders for some reason so I turn them off see if that helps super weird I don't like ever get motion sickness I've been playing video games my entire life all right and then I've been leaving this spot over here kind of barren because I specifically just wanted it to be a bunch of sunflowers because sunflowers only face one way so I thought it'd be nice to just have a patch of them all right well that was a few days ago and ever since then, I've had, okay, I've had this weird sickness where I'm like, the, really the only way I know how to describe it is 
I feel crazy nauseous. And then I get hit with these waves of like, like I feel like I'm out of body and like almost don't know where I am. So I've been kind of MIA for the last few days, but I wanted to get this video out for your lovely faces. So we're back. During my ailments, I popped on just trying to see if I could play games at all. Um, so I've, I've done a couple little things like we have this weird little dugout right here. I turned it into like this little waddle f what English is hard. You can tell my brain's half on right now, um, but I created this little waterfall. goes up to like this little pond thing with a cute little flower. And then I also changed up here. Let's give this tree a second to BK. I changed up here because I remembered my original idea involved me building a much larger tree than that. So that's what I'm back here to do. I know this might look a little strange, but it's going to make sense in a second, I promise. This is going to look better if it goes the other way, actually. Actually, I'm going to do it like this instead. Okay, D don't mind the dirt. It's going to look better in a second. I gotta get rid of all this dirt and hope that this tree doesn't look absolutely stupid and foolish. Okay, well, without leaves, it definitely does look pretty foolish, but we're gonna fix that. Let's also just change a couple things, like... I don't know, make it look a little more, like, twisty, you know what I mean? It looks too thick in certain spots. Hopefully adding these branches don't ruin this. I want to do another one in like this direction, I guess. All right, again, without the leaves, it looks absolutely ridiculous, but I can fix that real quick. I think I'm going to get rid of this tree. I can rebuild a smaller one after is what I'm thinking. That way we can actually see this tree too. Ooh, that branch looks really bad. The rest of them look fine, but that one's got to change. All right, I don't want to spend forever on this, so I'm going to call that good enough. If you've been around the channel for a little bit, you might remember I did, it was mildly modded, I think was the name of the series, and we built a big-ass jungle tree. I learned a little bit from building those branches, but not enough to feel super confident in what I'm doing, so... Hopefully this uh, doesn't look absolutely terrible when it's done. I remember finding that like trying to make the tree look roundish the whole way around is what made it look the best. But oh, fuck man, these are still so hard to do. All right, this might seem a little weird. But I kind of want to make like a path to get to the top. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't look like too obvious from the outside, but... If it does, I can kind of like clean it up if I need. I'm going to fly down here and see how it looks. Oh, wow. Wait, that didn't turn out nearly as terrible as I thought it was going to look. Let me sleep. Also see if Terry... <gasps> Terry! Terry, you, you're moving now, brother. Terry? There you are. Let's see how that looks during the day. Oh, I also added a flower nick to the bed. Look at how cute. All right, how's this look during the day? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm actually really, really happy that this isn't looking like absolute shit. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Oh, this it's turned out so much better than I thought I was going to. I seriously thought I was going to get down to the house, turn around, and just be like, oh, okay, that's disgusting. But no, I love it. Okay, so the exit to the stairs is just going to be right out the back because I'll be seeing that way less. This spot looks kind of weird, though, so I'm going to try to fix it up. Like that, I guess. And then, yeah, right here, hmm. I don't love, but I don't know how to fix it. 
we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, well, again, that turned out like so much better than I thought it was going to. Now, I don't know how many people were paying attention, but I got glow berries, so I'm definitely gonna put those to use. Oh, that's actually not what I meant to do. Hell yeah. Okay, I love how that looks. I guess technically, the like, quote unquote, final step, well, I guess it's not really the final step, what am I talking about? The next step is to actually put the beehive down somewhere. I think I want to put it right here. Because this feels like it's kind of, ooh, or right there. No, I want to do it right here, so I'm like sure that it's enough distance for the fire to actually do what it needs to. There, there's homies in there. Let's see if they come out. Okay, well, you guys can continue to hang out in there. So, you use the campfire to, like, basically smoke out the beehive. So that way, you can harvest it without them getting mad at you. So, you just, you can make it farmable by putting a campfire under it. But, campfires hurt any mob in Minecraft. It hurts the player, it hurts sheep, bees, anything. So, make it so they don't get hurt, you put it down and then put a campfire over it. So now, once you know they come out, do their thing, and fill this up, we'll be able to harvest it without pissing them off. And they hopefully won't ever die from, uh, from just hanging out around here. So I think I remember reading, like, after you move them, you have to sleep before they come out. So we'll probably have to wait till the next in-game day. But for now, this area is pretty lovely. It'd be cool to have more nests or hives at some point. Oh, that was another thing. So this is a bee nest. A hive is a thing that you can actually craft that does the same thing as this. It's just like a man-made one. Oh, the bees came out. Wait, I flew down to the house and they're back. Or they're out. Oh, and it's full of uh, stuff. So look, they're all hanging out, doing their thing. I can harvest it and nobody's upset. I just get free honeycombs oh this is awesome i thought we were gonna have to like wait forever there's also so many flowers so i wonder if this thing's just gonna get full wicked quick this turned out like so much better than i thought it was going to i'm so happy with it it looks so good oh i did not mean to break my floor oops <laughs> oh, look at that that's so good looking oh i love it very, very happy with it. All right, I wanted to throw some jack-o'-lanterns around here. I just don't know where. Let's put one here. And let's throw another one over here. So honestly, let's just put it right there. Nah, I don't want it on the same wall. I want it, like, uh, here. Cute. Cool. Lovely. Hey, can you guys just go ahead and fill this up for me real quick? Hey, the hive is full. Let's go. All right, so the reason I wanted that is because it's only one per. Oh, that's painful. Okay, well, so if we open this bad boy up. And what's it called? Just, okay, I'll just search B. Oh, you make it with honeycombs. Wait, so what do you use bottles for? Okay, well, I didn't know it was that easy to build, so give me a second. We do that and that and that, right? Yeah. Now we have a beehive. Okay, so I had one idea, but now I'm getting another idea. So let me fly over here. Okay, there's a bee. Saw him earlier when I was looking for, I don't know, flowers or something. I want to find out where homie's hive is. I was going to lasso it. Hey, bud. I was going to lasso him and bring him home and put him in the beehive. But if he's got a nest that I could just take, um, I'm not... Not seeing any around here. Where is he going? He is going somewhere, right? Hmm. It's been so long looking for the bee's home, I lost the bee. <gasps> you little bumble bitch. Where is you going? Other than home with me. Come on. I don't really want to risk accidentally hitting him somehow, so... I'm just not gonna fight anything. 
As much as I want to fight four creepers for all their gunpowder, I'm on a mission. No one is coming in between me and my son. Yo, he's zooming. No, don't shoot my bee. Oh. Skeletons are the scariest because they have a real chance of actually killing the bee. Ah, yes, of course. There's no entrance on this side. I forgot about that. I wasn't going to say anything about future plans, but I will spoil it just because it's kind of the topic we're on. I do have a plan to one day kind of redo like the whole riverside and add like roads along the edge and stuff. I also want to add more uh, gates and like entrances to the castle wall, but all in due time. Figured we spent enough time doing the re- oh, wowzers. I love it. We spent enough time doing all the remodeling of the base. I figured maybe we could tack all that stuff later on. All right, my friend. This is where your new home's gonna be. Let me just build it really quick. Will you just auto connect to that hive? How does that work? I don't remember. Ah! <gasps> That is how it works. Okay, awesome. Cool. So now we have a hive. I, I wish I could remember what the honey bottles did. We have a hive. We have a nest. I think both of them can hold three bees. And I imagine you... I didn't look this part up, but I imagine you just breed bees with flowers. That seems to be like their, their main thing, you know what I mean? So I'm asleep. Try that. I hope lilacs work. If not, I guess I have blue orchids as well oh wow i'm glad that i actually didn't just harvest that because he would have been very mad at me gotta do is that the the hives work the same as the nests when it comes to harvesting i'm pretty sure all right well now i just gotta wait for people to come out so i can uh try breeding them a few moments later um I was going to say, nobody's coming out, but the second I go to walk away, they come out. All right, can I breed you with tall flowers? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, you can lure them with flowers, too, but we have leads and stuff. Oh, my tiny. It's so little. What the hell? When's other homie going to come out? There's a homie in here. Dude, it's so little. Look at him. He's so tiny. He's just vibing too. Okay, well, cool. All this turned out, uh, one, a lot cuter than I thought it was going to, but also it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I, for some reason, thought that the bee farming stuff was like this big hassle, but it's really not. Oh, now you come out when everybody else goes home? You shitter. Yeah, uh, I don't remember exactly what I was saying, but bees are way easier to farm than I thought. Oh, great, the rain. Oh, yeah, it's raining, so everybody goes back in their hives. Did I just hear... Why is there a frog all the way up here? That's kind of dope, because I was actually going to bring some frogs back here, but... Homie, you are kind of a ways from home, no? All right, well, I won't be able to do the bottle stuff because it's raining, and it literally just turned day. So instead of waiting four hours for the rain to stop and for it to be night again, I think we'll just wrap up the video. Kind of weird to be ending the video with no face cam, but you know, here we are. Like I said, I wanted to uh, get the content out for your beautiful faces because the video was basically done. I just had to finish up the bee stuff. I just heard lightning strike. Hopefully, it burns down the whole world. That'd be super sick. All right, y'all. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for this episode. A lot of stuff today that it's just kind of like quality of life around the base, I feel. Like, we didn't need the sugarcane farm, but it's going to be nice to have. The bees, honey and stuff is useful for things. I can't remember exactly what, but it's useful for things. But also, the bees and whatnot, they just add so much uh, life. I mean, look at that. I love how... Oh, I love how that looks. I'm so happy with how that tree turned out. Definitely my favorite part of the video. But again, sorry for content being uh, slow, I guess you could say. I'm sick and also new work schedule because... I'm like a manager now or whatever. See y'all on that last. Either way, guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. I'm trying to get 
better about grinding that content, baby. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for some more Zamboni virus, some more survivalist, uh, and maybe some other stuff. Cause, cause I, there's a tree on fire back there. You see that? Is that going to go out? Okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, enough of me rambling again. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Subscribe and like, if you liked it and you want to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one later. Bye, 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 see you, bye, bye.